milligram you as the participant were told you were part of a study on memory you were assigned the role of teacher while your partner the learner was led into another room and strapped into an electric chair the scientist running the experiment sat in a desk behind you whenever the learner made a mistake in memorization you were forced to administer an electric shock the experiment starts and you read off the first word of each pair and you ask the learner to choose the correct second word from four options first pair correct second pair correct third wrong you reluctantly press the first shock button 15 volts the machine says slight shock as you keep reading off the word pairs again the learner makes a mistake you press the shock button again now it's 30 volts and another mistake and then another you keep pressing the shock button eventually on the 10th mistake at 150 volts you hear shouting from the other room 11th mistake you press it again more shouting the learner makes another mistake you turn around to the experimenter and ask to stop please continue he says but the experiment requires that you continue so you press the next button and more and more mistakes until you finally press 450 volts another mistake you press again the machine says danger severe shock you hear an even louder scream from the room you finally have enough and tell the experimenter you want to stop please continue no the experiment requires that you continue i want to stop it is absolutely essential that you continue but you have no other choice you must go on reluctantly you press the 450 volt button again the machine repeats danger severe shock you expect another scream but from the learner's room there's silence the experiment is over it is sure a good thing the shocks were fake This was not an experiment on memory. This was an experiment on obedience. And you failed. If it makes you feel better, 2/3 of all people go all the way to 450 volts, which for context is fatal. Stanford Prison. Philip Zimbardo's Stanford Prison experiment simulated a prison environment with participants assigned as guards and prisoners. The prisoners were arrested by real police and brought to a fake jail in the basement of Stanford University's psychology building. The guards were told not to let the prisoners escape, and the experiment was supposed to last 2 weeks. However, the guards soon became abusive and the prisoners were traumatized. The experiment had to be ended in just 6 days. Little Albert In the Little Albert experiment, John B. Watson ran a study on an 11-month-old baby called Little Albert. He figured out that babies are naturally scared of loud noises. So every time Little Albert touched a white rat, he hit a steel bar with a hammer, making the baby cry. This made Little Albert associate the fear from the noise with the rat, causing him to be scared of rats. This fear later generalized to other furry objects. The good news for little Albert is that the fear did not appear to be strong and did not last long. Ash conformity. You and seven other test subjects are brought into a room to test your perception abilities. Each of you is given a card with three lines labeled A B C and another card with the reference line. Your job is to choose which line is the same length as the reference line each participant must give their answers individually and you go last take a look and choose which of these lines fits the reference line now the other participants are giving their answers first one says line a second one line a third a 
A, 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 A. Now it's your turn. Look closely. What's your answer? Obviously C. This test was not made to measure perception. It was made to measure conformity. And the other participants were all working for the scientist. Turns out, over one-third of the true subjects would go along with the group and also say C. Harlow's Monkeys In Harlow's monkey experiment, infant Rhetus monkeys were separated from their mothers and given two surrogate mothers, one made of wire with a feeding bottle and one made of soft terry cloth. Despite the wire mother providing nourishment, the monkeys spent significantly more time clinging to the comforting, soft mother, highlighting the importance of emotional comfort and attachment, and challenging the notion that attachment was solely based on a nourishment. Pavlov's Dogs Ivan Pavlov's classic conditioning experiments with dogs are probably the most famous psychological experiments ever and laid the foundation for behavioral psychology. By ringing a bell every time Pavlov gave it food, he conditioned dogs to salivate at the sound of the bell alone. This groundbreaking work illustrated the principles of associative learning. Cognitive Dissidence Leon Festinger's Cognitive Dissidence Experiment explored the discomfort people feel when holding conflicting beliefs. Participants were made to do a repetitive and boring task, but were paid nothing, one dollar, or twenty dollars to lie to the next participant that the task was, in fact, enjoyable. The participants who were paid one dollar were significantly more likely to say after the study that the tasks were enjoyable, while interestingly, those who were paid twenty dollars did not rate the activity as enjoyable. The reason for this is that unlike $20, $1 is not obviously significant enough to induce an action. So those who were paid the single dollar internalized their action as if it were caused by their actual opinion. Robber's Cave Muzaffar Sharif's Robber's Cave experiment demonstrated the power of tribalism and shared goals. He brought 22 11 to 12 year old boys to a summer camp and split them into two teams, the Rattlers and the Eagles, and then organized games against the teams. After Eagles lost tug of war, the Eagles burnt down the Rattlers flag, which led to raids on cabins, vandalism, and food fights. One day, however, the researchers blocked off the water supply to the camp with a pile of rocks and the boys, who had been sworn enemies the day before, suddenly started working together as a group to remove the rocks. Leave a like if you want more videos like these.